Right, on to the next location, the next hike. Somewhere over there. It's called something, I think it's called La Plana or something. Something like this. It's gonna take about three hours to go where I want to go. And I think I'm gonna maybe get some food to take with me this time so I don't have to come back and eat. And if I can find a water fountain, that'll be great. I appear to have gone the wrong way, as usual. And uh, a slight detour, I'm about 10 minutes out of my, out of my way. <laughs> but I can cut through this car park here, go to the hostel, get my shorts on. It's too hot to be wearing these. And I need to dump my waterproof gear. I brought full waterproof gear, trousers, jacket, hoodie, because I thought it was gonna be cold up there, but no. So I'm gonna drop all that off and then go. I haven't actually found a place in Chamonix that doesn't look amazing yet. Because everywhere you go, you obviously it's in the valley, so you can see all these waterfalls and mountains and all of that sort of thing. And there's obviously river, there's like one or two rivers running through it. So you always get these lovely bridges that just, oh, it's just so beautiful. Look at this. Sports centre, this is the tennis area and we need to cut across. That's the water park, yeah, so we're on the, the wrong side. We need to cut right across. I'm not quite sure the best way of doing that. Maybe this way. Do you know what? I think I could probably spend uh, a good month or two exploring the Alps. Maybe longer. I've only got a week here, but yeah, it might be nice to have a bit longer to just explore because there's so many hiking trails and uh, you know I can only do so much in a week right today's challenge you've got to leave a comment letting me know what you think the highest mountain in the Alps is and how high in meters look at this lovely tennis court imagine playing tennis here in the summer with this view that's the spa that's the wind sock, so this is the field. So then, oh, there's a, there's a skate park. I'll investigate the skate park for you guys. Now, I think this is probably one of the prettiest skate parks I've seen. Ignore the graffiti for a second, but look at the views though. It's pretty cool. what's over here. Oh, it's quite a big skate park actually. Wow. Look at this. If only I had my bike with me. And there's nobody here. No one here to enjoy it. Time to move on. I'll definitely be glad when I can get my shorts on because I am oiling. Right, so now I'm getting ready to go to Le Planyard, which is another hiking destination. I think it's a ski run in the winter, but in the summer it's just a really nice hike, all open and lots of sun. Exhausted already. Actually, no, I'm fine. I'm just about out of breath. Okay. 
always nervous about walking on walking near train tracks especially ones that are derelict and obviously no one's near anyway onwards so this is the start of the ski run in the winter and this is obviously the ski lift but nothing's nothing's on at the moment i believe they might turn these lifts on tomorrow when the weather's definitely fine today was like a test today for them apparently and so this is La Plan Le Planyard. I'm going to start my hike going possibly up that way or through the woods. I'm not quite sure yet. Yeah, so we're here. I need to walk all the way along here towards, not sure if we'll get there, but possibly towards the grotto, glacier. But I think that's going to be a two hour hike. Maybe we could do it. We could do it. I've got water, I've got snacks. It's a shame the ski lift isn't working because I could have gone up on the ski lift and down by walking or, you know, the other way around or something. So at the moment, we're just going to follow this ski, we're just going to follow the ski slopes up until we get to the woodland. And then we're going to go through the woodland and onwards that way. Oh, ho, ho. all right. My hair's going crazy right now. I think it's time to have a little break while well, the water's still cold. What I should have done is rented a bike like these. They're nice bikes as well, the ones you can rent. I should have done that. I think some of them are electric assisted. Okay. Which is really cool actually. I wonder how much it is to rent one, I might do it. I had a glass, it says it's an hour away. Hour that way. We're an hour and a half that way. I think we're going to go Calle this way. So we want to go there and possibly there. Only an hour to go. of all the hikes I've been on this is the one I'm most likely to get lost on because look at this you've got several tiny paths and at this point there's no signposts saying where to go so I assume it's this way but there's no real way of knowing I can I can just assume that it has to be the whatever path is going up has to be the one I'm, I should take That's a big ant. Well, we've come to some type of structure. I think this must be part of the ski run, the ski lift. It's pretty secluded, there's no one here. Pretty silent as well. Right, onwards. Back into the sun. Okay. So this must be part of the train to the Murder Glass to Sentier. Yes, this way. Be careful not to step on the rails, even though it's probably fine, but don't want to risk it. Nothing makes me more annoyed than an electric shock, especially when it kills you. <laughs> Look at these weird insects. There's a beetle here. There's a, an orange ladybird. I 
I think I'm going to keep going a little bit this way, see if there's a bigger path. But if not, I might go back actually and get the train because I'm pretty sure this is the perfect place for snakes. And I'm wearing shorts, I don't really fancy getting bitten on my second day. But we'll see, maybe this path here is better. It's not actually a path, it's a river. And I'm lost because this was the path I followed. There have been no diversions. It's literally just taking me to here, and that doesn't look like a path. Don't fancy trekking through that. So we've had a good run. Back to get the train, I think. Get the train to the murder glass. Yeah, I didn't actually know that the train was running, but it is. I saw one earlier, so I'd rather get the train to the murder glass, so at least that way I'm guaranteed to get there, and also it saves me about three hours and I can go on possibly another hike the other side. So seeing as there's only two days of sun in this week, I think that's the best way. Avoid the snakes, save the time, do more, enjoy the weather. I think it's a no-brainer, guys. What do you think? See, so look, the train's running. Down to the murder glass. More of these ants here, look at this. <laughs> Let's investigate whatever this building is. Hmm. Nothing. It's empty, I guess in this ski season that must be uh, where they keep an office or something or other. It's a pretty little clearing. I think I've made the right decision by uh, calling off the hike and getting the train because my feet, I think, have got blisters all over them. <laughs> That's what you get for hiking for too long. Let's save some time, shall we? Quick rest. Let's see where I am. My plan has changed again. One thing you'll notice is that I never stick to my plan. I always sort of improvise and do random things. So instead of spending 30 euros on the train to go to the glacier, the glacier is actually closed today. It reopens tomorrow. So what I'm gonna do instead is I'm gonna spend three euros on the bus and go to this lake that I remember being beautiful. There's this lake next to a Via Ferrata back that way about, I think 20 minutes on the bus. So I'm gonna go back to the hostel, recharge, get my new battery, refill my water have a quick rest and then go back, get the bus and explore the lake. <laughs> and I was, I was right about my suspicions. I thought this was a paragliding landing area and it is. So that's pretty cool.